All right, we're ready to tip things off here at the Child Center. The Pilots coming in at three and four, having lost a tough one to a very good Rhode Island bunch. A little bit of a skid for the Pilots, but all their losses recently have been very close. The Oregon Ducks at four and one. Impressive victory over Nevada. Well, right there you see Che go right at Cochran, and that's going to be a great matchup to watch all night long. Both team, you know, both are familiar with each other and a lot of length inside. Che at 6'8 for the Oregon Ducks. Cochran, the Oregon transfer at 6'6. It's going to be something. Turnover right away. Williams all the way to the cup and scores. The transfer out of Liberty puts Oregon on the board. It's going to be important, J-Mo, for the Palace to take deep breaths and not to hurry. Burnham, she just missed one previously wide open, hits that one. Is going to find Bell. And now Gray, she loves the three. Rim and out. Good looks for the Oregon Ducks. Ducks not able to take advantage. Running the floor, Dickey. Nicely done as she lets Che go by. Yeah, the Ducks just one of five from the field right now. I'm telling you, the Pilots are getting good looks as well. They need to take advantage of Oregon's drought. JMO. Well, they're competing against the zone right here. Nice job. Not kicking that out. I thought she was going to pass it. Basham dumping it inside. I think somebody got a piece of that inside for the Pilots. And here comes Portland. They want to push it. Yeah, I think Dickey got a little bit of a piece of that. Shooting a three here from the perimeter. Knocks it down. She's a decent 3% shooter. She's got five points and the lead is eight. Short on that shot. The follow. Short on that shot, and the ball belongs to the Pilots. Holy smokes. Wow. Huge triple. She leads this club in threes made, 13-2. to two. Well, in, in rhythm, in transition, they're on a 13-0 run in the last three minutes, and there's a block. Blocked by Cochran inside. On the shot clock now for Gray. Dumps it inside. Good luck. That's good interior defense by Lucy and company. Here comes the Pilots. Well, the Pilots doing a great job defensively as a team. Burnham, three. Tries to chase down her own rebound, but Van Sluten has got it. All the way to the cup. And one. That's exactly what they have confidence. They played in big games. And Oregon, you know, granted, you know, they just haven't shot the ball well. That was the first bucket since the opening tip. The first bucket for the Oregon Ducks since 20 seconds into this thing. Yikes. Well, she's so versatile inside out. Can rebound and run. 10 on the shot clock. That's great hands by the Pilots. No foul call there. A lot of contact. Spear wanted the call, didn't get it. Will go the other way. Yeah, Portland doing a good job of putting pressure, causing that turnover, and then live ball situation didn't capitalize. Good high-low. And another foul, of course, Cochran is that rim protector. Coming off a huge game. Cold shooting has really plagued Oregon, and yet they're only down 13-6. 3.53 left to go in the first quarter. Dickey back on the floor for the Pilots. Ananiev almost walked. Just kind of flips it up and gets the kind roll. Yeah, reverse pivot. And she's just doing a good job all season of just finding a way to score. And there's an unforced turnover. Those teams just a little tentative in the paint area trying to finish. A lot of length in that paint. Dumping it. Love the mismatch here if you're Oregon, but Che just cannot take advantage. Who's just been an incredible story for the Oregon Ducks. The freshman year to her sophomore year. Huge. Rebounding wise. She has just been a great story. Comes in with the Jennifer mentioned double double at 11 points, nearly 11 boards a pop. All her numbers are up. Wild shot by Shear. And that's good good ball movement offensively against the zone. Wide open look from the three. Shear's got to knock that down. Meek going with Mogul and Mikkel Meek, his daughter. Getting decent ball movement against the zone. There's another tip pass. And another turnover caused by Oregon's zone defense. Chance for the Ducks to get ever closer. Dumping it inside. Che. 
So Jay will have a seat, bash him back on the floor. How about, like you said, and take it to the defense and took that shot. Can't complete the three-point play. 103 left to go in this first quarter. Another look inside. Basham, not even close. Shear wants to push. Meek. Good ball movement. Wide open triple for the Pilots. And gets it home against the zone. And Mogul hits it in the corner. And there's another turnover. All right, so 10 on the shot clock now for Meek. She wants to drive and is cut off and looking for help. Shovel inside. Meek's got to put it up and does. Good offensive rebound. Dickey, Shear, not there. Van Sluten wants to run. She's got to put it up. Grace, good defense from behind by Meek. And what a first quarter for the Pilots. And, you know, you, if we would have talked about that before the game, just with the heights advantage that Oregon has, I would not have guessed that. So second quarter underway. 13 to nothing. First quarter burst for the Portland Pilots. Helping the cause. They lead it 20 to 10. Second quarter underway. But Oregon back in their zone. Ball up for grabs into the hands of Williams. And if you are Oregon, you just have got to get something going offensively in this second quarter. Shooting. And there's Van Sutton. Oh my. Like better block. Lucy <laughs> looking for number three right there. Was hoping Bell was going to go up. Instead, Van Sluten will pull up, back rim and off. <laughs> Van Sluten at 6-3, Basham at 6-7. All that length for the Oregon Ducks. Well, I mean... Dump it inside. Reverse not there. Scramble for the rebound. Lucy Cochran showing why she's a very good passer for a big. She really is. Ooh. Good hands. Williams avoids the turnover. Bell, three. You bet. Oh, heck yeah. Just a smooth stroke, too. Very impressed with her. Had a chance to watch a couple games so far. Just very athletic, very versatile. Can really shoot it. Naniev drills the triple. She's got eight under her seasonal average of nine. Bell from the corner again. Good hands by Lucy. Aggressive going to the bucket. She will go to the line. She's the best we've seen her. The most confident she's been. The most aggressive presence every single night. And we love to see her kind of coming into her own. Swarming pilot defense. Gray. Not there. Good block out by Cochran. And Ananiev gobbles it up. Portland doing a good job of contesting jump shots. Good inside-out movement. And Burton knocks it down. You know, you look at the rebounding category, and, and Oregon is out-rebounding them 19 to 17. Eight offensive boards, but no second-chance points out of it. Oregon able to beat the Heat. Plenty of time on the shot clock. The travel's alternating that possession. Eighth turnover for the Ducks. They average nearly 15 a pop, but that's way too many this early in the second quarter. Oh, nice high-low. Look at that, and the finish by Burnham, but she can pass that ball. She really can, and a great job of Burnham posting up down low. That heat. Great. Decides to flip it out. Here's Bell. The pull-up. Looks short. Is short. Into the hands of Van Sluten. Garbage bucket. And Oregon has come out of the zone. Little man-to-man -man here. Burnham wanted it underneath. Instead, here's Hamilton. Almost swiped away. Six on the shot clock for Burnham. Goes up against Van Sluten and scores! Great hands by Hamilton. Able to keep it alive. All the way to the rim. No foul. And there's the late call. Hamilton doesn't go to the line very often. And looking to push is great. Van Sluten, contact. Causing 10 turnovers with three minutes to go. Sammy Wagner checking in to the duck lineup for the first time. Graves going deep into his bench. Wow, what a take by Fraley. Aggressive and fearless. Great take. I mean, that mid-range game in that area and the painting in. Had a lot of success with it. Basham 
affected by Cochran, not blocked, but affected. Great defense inside by Lucy. Pilots looking to extend the lead. They have been in control since trailing 2-0 in the first 25 seconds of this contest. Cochran inside, blocked from behind, nicely done. So Basham pick up, picks up her first, team's fifth. The bench, Fraley's first free throws of the season. Bell, three ball, rimming out. Burnham with a good block out. Portland feeling free and frisky right now. Look at the inside, look. Oh, you gotta make that if you're Fraley. Cochran can't get it home. Fraley with the hustle play. Just the aggressiveness to the offensive boards. She's kicking herself for missing that layup, but she stays with it and makes one of two. Well, and that's for the Ducks. Kelly Graves very familiar, obviously, with this building, an assistant coach for the University of Portland before he went nuts with Gonzaga and the Oregon Ducks with a stop at St. Mary's as well. Yeah, he's got a lot of memories here, a lot of family. Four-minute drought for the Oregon Ducks. Well, just, I mean, shooting 17% from it. And just, just not playing the typical duck ball. Another WCC opponent giving the Oregon Ducks headaches. Santa Clara buried him in Eugene earlier in the season. And the Pilots getting after it tonight. Yeah, the 12th turnover of the half. Just a great job of just containing, keeping the ball in front, not fouling, moving their feet. The Pilots need to take advantage. No lead is safe against an Oregon Duck Club. Blocked from behind. The Oregon Ducks, who would have thunk? And they may get some more. Ooh, look out. Wow, that's too tight. Well, it's too casual by the Pilots, all the same. Absolutely. You can, you can uh, yip about that one, but it was too casual. Pilots get it right back. Great defense by Portland. Meek looking to push. Braley's just been terrific this last five minutes. Rimming out. And the follow. Cochran has been terrific. Just being a threat on both ends of the floor. 6.6 .6 rebounds. And all those blocks. Wow, Shear with the defense. Shear with the bucket. The Pilots poured it on. That is Emmy Shear to a T. A steal and a transition bucket. Basham not there. And now Meek will walk it up with the most impressive first half the Pilots have had all season. And then some. Wow. You got to do something here. Oh, it's one of those halves for the Portland Pilots. Shear just kind of launches it up and banks it in. 46-18. Just an offensive clinic in the first half. Shoot the ball well for the three. Shearing the back. Che needs to get going. Van Sluten needs some help. Maybe a couple of threes. Get the Ducks going. Burnham starting this game, though. Saying That's what's beautiful against the zone. The ball goes inside and immediately reversal pass in the perimeter. Great look. Gray hesitates. Here's Vance Sluten. There's the kick. Bell answers with the three. That's a baseline penetration and a great three from the corner. The freshman has nine, one under her seasonal average of ten. Good answer from Bell. Inside look. Dickey. The seam. And there is the finish. Cochran going against Che. Now Burnham, looking for help. Burnham just kind of throws it up. That penetration, they would get called for a three-point, or excuse me, a three in a second. Williams slips it. Beautifully done. Really important for Portland not to suffer scoring droughts. And they're on cue. She's got nine. Well, credit Mike, Mike Mikel Meek right there. I mean, just did a great job. Defense was not paying attention out of bounds. Snuck that one in there. Dickey's so solid tonight for the Portland Pilots. The transfer. 15 cough up now for the Ducks. Meek dumps it inside. Beautiful look inside. Great penetration and kick. 
defense really slow to shift over and an easy look for the pilots. Eight and seven now for Cochran. Unlucky there. Good offensive rebound and finally a put the pilots looking to end a seven game skid against the Oregon Ducks. Another, another pass just kind of lasted days ago out of bounds. Good pass. Wide open Hamilton. And hits. Every time that Portland has gone to the short corner. And there's another turnover versus the press. Just trying to go too fast. And she's going to pick up another one. Chance Gray is going to have to step up here and play the point guard position for them. Spear checks in for the Pilots. The Pilots' depth has been impressive tonight. Sheer three. Yes! For the Portland Pilots. Che almost turns it over. Mid-range, not there. Cochran wanting to step through. Blocked inside. Ball into the hands of... You know what I've been impressed with? Oh, again, right out of that. Wow. Defense. All Portland. All Portland in every category. I mean, just doing a great job on both ends of the floor. They've created 16 turnovers that have ended up in 21 points. Che wants it inside. Single coverage against Cox. Oregon has got to do. They've got to go inside, use their advantage of size, and score the basketball. Meek with the extra pass. Hamilton on the deck. And now the long ball. Nope. Pass it up. Floater, runner is true. Yeah, you know, you know, I, I kind of gone back and look at some of the stats. But one thing that's been so good, if you are a pilot fan, is they've done a great job of being patient. They push the pace when they need to do, hit outside shots. Let's see if the pilots have an answer. Rimming out. And here's Van Sluten running the floor and scoring again. Another double. And that's what if you're Oregon, if you're gonna have a chance at any point, you gotta push the pace and go. Do the Ducks have a run in them? Turnover. Tenth turnover for the Pilots. They average 19. They've done a pretty good job of taking care of the ball, but inside look. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Che is there to say, uh-uh. Down low. Yeah, and she had position on Cochran inside. And this is that lineup that we talked about early. 6'3", six, 6'7", six, six, And there's the block for Cochran, number four. She is now number three in all-time career blocks for the Portland Pilots. But Portland throws it away. Lucy Cochran doing her thing. Dump it inside. And the foul from behind. The Oregon Ducks are showing some life, J-Mo. This is their first free throw since the first quarter. Rims off the first one. One for two. Buck 10 left to go in the third quarter. Dickey thought maybe she'd put up the mid-range instead. Pilots moving the ball around, losing, or excuse me, using clock. Now eight on the shot clock. Cochran banking it in. Tight quarters for Shear, but she's got 11. Yeah, but nice job of sneaking in from the backside into that midpoint of the zone. Great look and great ball movement. Another block, I think, for Lucy. Looks like she got a piece of that. Inside, great pass from Che to Basham. Well, I'll tell you, that that combination of Che and Basham, really hard to defend when you have that size inside. You're not kidding. 6'8 and 6'7 for the Ducks inside. Barely a breath of difference between game and shot clock. Meek, who's been a great floor general with all the assists and no turnovers, now is going to try to get Portland set up. Dickey. Busted play. Not there. Good steal by Dickey, but can't get anything off. So the Oregon Ducks showing a little bit of life, but still a healthy lead for the Pilots going into the fourth. Lucy Cochran, who just continues to evolve the transfer from the Oregon Ducks, having herself quite a game.
She really is, and you know, she's known for the shot blocking, but it's the alternates, the defense, and her aggressiveness on the offensive end. She's changing what she's doing, and a big threat for the pilots. So fourth quarter underway. The walk on Che and Cochran affects that shot and forces Philly into the travel. You're absolutely right. I mean, it's always in the back of somebody's mind, whether you're six seven or not, just the success that she's had and her timing is so good. 17th turnover now against the Ducks. They had 19 against Northern Arizona. That's been their season high in turnovers, and we're just starting the fourth quarter. Well, the Ducks had a much better third quarter, had three more buckets than they did in that whole first half. Nine field goals. But Portland doing a good job of using clock, taking good shots, and had a great offensive board. Dickey having herself a heck of a game on both ends. Flags down the offensive rebound. Reload that clock if you're the Portland Pilots. Five on the shot clock now. Dickey's going to have to put something up. And beats the shot clock buzzer. Wow. 11 points now for Dickey to go along with eight boards. Great step through move. Another rebound for Dickey. Well, how about a double double? Cochran battling, coming up with it. Cochran flipping it in. Ten points now for Lucy Cochran to go along with the eight rebounds and five blocks. She's been in double figures five times, more than all of last year. Well, and that's exactly what this pilot squad needed. And right there, going with her left hand. In so many different ways. Cochran, blocked from behind. Basham nicely done. And here comes Oregon. Gray wants to push. All the way to the rack is gray for the Ducks to climb out of. Well, if you're Oregon, you may have to match up here a little bit sooner than you want to. There's Meek from the three-point line and knocks it down. You know, Portland's got five players in double figures right now. You become really hard to guard if you have multiple people that can really fill it. When Gray misses from the free throw line, she is so good from that area. And here comes Chance. She's been wanting to push. Good defense. And now you have to cut her off. How about the freshman picking the pocket? She's going to get it right back and score. 12 now, now for Ananiev. I'll tell you, she's impressive. She can create great maturity and smarts with the ball. High IQ. Dallow wide open and hits. Energy at the defensive end for the Ducks. Portland getting any shot they want right now. Nobody's closing. Nobody's fighting. Chamberlain, good ball fake. Short there. Van Sluten, now there's a warrior. No, I, I wouldn't think that they would come out expecting this, but they've played particularly well at the offensive end, executed, really involved. With, there's a fill in it. That basket gets bigger and bigger, and they've just done a nice job of sharing the basketball and moving the Well, that's what we're talking about, just wanting it more than your opponent. Mogul flying in from the backside. Block inside. Man. Coming to play tonight is Van Sluten. But she gives it up. Dello right there. Florence mops up. Well, I mean, you look at the lineup right now. You've got a bunch of youngsters on the floor. A lot of talent. Getting some minutes together. Gray reading things nicely there. You know, Kelly Graves was telling us the big three, Van Sluten, Gray, and Che, all three of them have to be good every night, an off night for Philly. Yeah, I mean, right from the get-go, you know, missed a couple two, three-footers, short on them, and then got herself in foul trouble. This and learned a lot, a lot of ball movement. They didn't put it on the deck as much as they normally do, trying to over-penetrate and create. They've got a lot of people involved, but it's a confidence builder. You know, you're beating a Pac-12 school. Most people don't expect you to even be in the game. And they... Oregon's starting to feel a little bit better from the floor, but way too late. The Pilots have lost 19 straight 
against Pac-12 opponents. That's coming into tonight. Losing seven straight to Oregon. Oh, game again. Nice little jumper. Nice one-two combo there. Good pass by Bass. Shared the ball. Made extra passes. 32-8. Bench point advantage for the Portland Pilots. Dallow with the offensive board. A buck 37 left to go. And 15 points now to go along with five boards and all those blocks. My goodness. She's just super smooth. Good hands by Mogul on that. And up ahead, layup drill. Oh, Kelly Graves can only look on. On Jim Sollers' staff. Long time ago, but got some great coaching chops here at the University of Portland before going on to great things, especially at Gonzaga and Oregon. And this has got to be one of his most frustrating defeats recently, kind of along the lines with the Santa Clara defeat. Yeah, and I mean, it's a, a group that has not had a lot of time together. They'll get better, continue to improve. And, you know, taking a lump like this certainly doesn't help, but... Uh, you know, it's just, you know, they've got to they've got to work some kinks out. They've got to have that fight. Up next for the Ducks, they'll go to Waco to take on 13th ranked Baylor as the Portland Pilots will host Montana State with a ton of momentum, breaking the three-game skid in impressive fashion tonight. You're absolutely right, Ann. I mean, they, they were really disappointed in the fact that they lost those three straight, didn't play their best, but they've put it together tonight, two halves. Nice slip pass. inside, and there's the foul. You know, even this lineup right here on the floor, they've got a lot of weapons that can really contribute to what they're going to do down the road. Um, high expectation, knows the WCC really well. She's kind of been hit and miss a little bit. Put it together tonight. And Lucy Cochran, terrific. 26 assists for the Portland Pilots. That's one off their seasonal high. And the pilots will walk this thing up and walk it off. And the crowd is up and tells the story. Coach Meek and Graves embrace at half court. Classy. 91-60. An absolute dominant performance by the pilots. The Portland pilots came to play on both ends of the floor. Put 40 minutes together.